morning, teacher. Good morning, Carla. How are you? Um, um, it's I, Monday. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, because uh, I am on vacation, so. Oh my goodness, Carla. Uh, oh no. <laughs> right now it's too hard. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. How many but, days of vacation do you have, Carla? Uh, just two. Two weeks? No, no. Two, two days. days. Yes. Ah, all right. Okay. Um, so today and tomorrow? Yes. It's oh difficult to uh, have uh, um, all week for us, but, but um, ah, okay. four days, it's okay. <laughs> all right. So they yeah. divide you, like they divide your days? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we we have to select some days, uh, and that the the word is is more um, easy. It is easier. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being today in class and waking up early. <laughs> Yes, uh, your class is very interesting. <laughs> thank you, Carla. <laughs> That's nice to know. Yes, right. I I think that we are learning. Really? Okay, that's yes. good. That's yes. good. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice of you, Carlita. Carla, where do you live? Do you live here in San Salvador? Yes, I live in Cuscatancingo. Okay. It's yeah. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> all right. Now, Carla, are you doing like all your work, like home office, or you sometimes have to go to the office? No, uh, we are in, in home office all, all the, yeah. all days. Okay. All right. Is it difficult for you? Uh, I think that sometimes, but yeah. uh, I prefer uh, home office. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, because the the transportation, the, the the traffic. people are around. Uh, it, for me, it's it's more stress. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is very yes. stressful. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, I was actually uh, thinking this morning because usually we teach classes early in the morning at six o'clock when we go to uh -huh. like presencial, right? Mm -hmm. So I woke up, I woke up today at 5.30, right? I always, like for your class, I always wake up at 5.30. But when we have presencial classes, I'm on the road at 5.30. All right? Oh. So I'm like thinking, oh no, mm. how am I going to do it next year? <laughs> we had, uh, we had classes. Uh, yeah, with me, me series, yeah, you had classes. Uh. So I used to teach classes at the academy. So I have to oh. leave my house at 5.35 latest for me to be like 10 minutes before six. Oh my God. So that means I have to wake up at 4.30. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, so. for taking the the, the classes uh, with teacher Iris. Yeah. Uh, I got up four o'clock yeah. and well, it at five, I was, I was running. Right, I know, Carla, it's horrible. <laughs> it's not, yes. yeah, it's very difficult, actually. Yes, so for me, it's, it's more... It's homo. better, I know, me too, I just, I prefer that. <laughs> very yes. good, let's see, let's see, I see some other people coming in. Ileana, good morning. Franklin, good morning. Exa, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys today? Yes, I'm everybody fine. okay? Hi, Carla, Joanna. Excellent, very good. Yeah, all right. So I was, I thought it was going to be raining today, but I guess it's going to rain later, they say, like tomorrow or something. Oh my goodness, the rain is never going to stop. <laughs> all right, Ileana, how was your weekend? It was fine. Yeah? Yeah. All right. What did you do this weekend? I went to my mother's house. Okay. All right. That's nice. Uh, my, 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 my parents' house. Right. Your parents' house. Okay. Very good. Okay. Nice. Very good. And Franklin. Hi, Franklin. Franklin. I guess he's not there. All right. What about Carla, Joanna? How was your weekend? 
Hello, good morning. Good morning. Oh, well, very funny. Yeah, it was My fun. Oh, cool. yeah. Nice. Very good. You guys don't <laughs> work on Saturday or Sunday, do you? No, you don't work Saturday or Sunday. You don't work Saturday no. nor Sunday. Okay. Uh, no, Thanks, uh, only a <laughs> student in the uh, university. University. And what are you taking, Carlita, at university? What are you studying at university? What are you taking? Uh, I'm licenciatura in administración de empresas. Right, business administration. So, yeah, business administration yeah. bachelor. All right, okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. All right, very good. Interesting. Yeah, so everything is online for you, Carla. Good thing. Everything, all your classes from university, they are online. Yes, the, all the weekend, all the, all the week. Oh, yeah, all the semester, right? In the night, yes. At night, okay. Uh, the semester. The finally, semester? Uh huh. Finally in January. Oh, really? Yes. Why, Carla? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, really? Wow. You know, I teach at Evangelica and we're finishing. We finish this week with parciales. Oh, uh, yeah. in the university, this is the second parciales. Oh, yes. really? Yes. All right. Okay. Well, every university is different. Yeah, but yeah. We are finishing at Evangelica this Friday. This Friday we have the last exam, and then we have interciclo. But I mean, it's different because the mm. semester is done, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I Very think, good. I think that uh, for 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 this subject in the uh, the El Salvador University, uh -huh. I don't have interciclo. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So you study at the Universidad Nacional? Yes. All right, yeah. Oh, yeah, their semesters are different because they begin a little later also. All right, yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, that's good, though. All right, very good, girls and Franklin. So I really hope you had a nice, nice weekend. This is like the third week for us, right? So we have this week, next week, and we're done. All right, so yay, guys, we're going to be finished this um, course. Mm -hmm. And then I don't see you until January, right? That's what they say. January, we're not going to continue another one before Christmas because you guys get very, very busy at work, they said, right? So this is going to be like the last course before the end of the year. All right, very good. Um, all right, someone is texting me. I think he's exam. Hold on, guys. Ah, oh, bendita. Okay. Brenda is texting me. I'm sorry. Okay. So remember last class, last Friday, we were talking about um, past and present participles, okay, as adjectives. Remember, guys, remember, girls, that good morning, Araceli. Remember that we have participles as verbs, all right? Like, remember when we study the verbs like simple present, simple past, and past participles. Okay, like do, did, done, go, went, gone, speak, spoke, spoken. That's past participle as verbs. Okay, so that's very different from what we're studying right now. We're studying past participles and present participles as adjectives. Okay, so that is the, that is the first difference is that one. Okay, do we have verbs as past participles and we have uh, participles as adjectives. Very different. Okay, now. Remember that we have past participles and present participles. So if I ask Ileana, how do the uh, present participles as adjectives finish? What do they finish with? Or what do they finish on? Present, part present, part present participle. Present participle, uh-huh. It's the define a noun. All right, but what is the, uh, the ending of the, uh, of um, the adjective? With ing. That's right, yes, but with ing. So, for example, we have always said this um, adjective, we always say, oh, this is interesting. Interesting is an adjective, okay? Now we know that this adjective is a present participle adjective because it finishes with ing. All right, very good, thank you. Good morning, Sinia. 
And then we have past participles. All right, Franklin, do you remember the past participles as adjectives? How do they end up in? Like, what, what is the ending, the termination, the, the little thing at the end? I don't know. All right, that's okay. Very good. Either Carla Joana or Carla Beatriz or Araceli or Exa. Anybody that remembers the ending of the past participles as adjectives? With ED? That's I right. Am. Yes, Araceli, also. All right, so we have the ED ending. All right, so interested. All right, ED ending, all right? So we have the present participles and we have the past participles. Very good, Franklin. All right, let's see. Um, Araceli, if, uh, if we are using the present participles as adjectives, so that means ING, do they, are they the cause or the feeling of what we wanna say? It should, but I, I don't understand. The question? Oh. Uh huh. All right. Remember, you were in class last Friday, Ara Araceli, yes? Yeah, I think so. All right. Okay. Remember the last class we were talking about? There are some adjectives that they help us describe the outside factor. All right. What makes you feel something? All right. So here we have the ing um, adjectives. All right, and the ed adjectives, the ing adjectives, do, are they the cause or are they the feeling of how you want to express something? Anybody? Um, <laughs> the, uh, the feeling? For the ing? Or for the ed? <laughs> for the ed? For the ED is the feeling, all right, okay, and the ING is the? Reason. The reason or the cause, very good. Okay, so if I tell you, yes, if I tell you this movie is interesting, that's the outside factor, the reason why I feel interested on the movie, all right? Like remember the other day I said, I gave you this example and I said, we always make a mistake and you say, I am boring. You want to say I am bored, I feel bored. If you say I'm boring, that means that Jessica is very boring. Like you don't wanna talk to me because you're like, oh my goodness. All right, she's like never telling me anything interesting. All right, so some, um, the ING adjectives, they are the reason or the cause and the ED endings are like the feeling of that, of how, of the situation, okay? I'm gonna show you right now the PPT, uh, not the same one that we were using last Friday. I'm gonna show you another one, all right? And then we'll have exercises, okay? So here we have, If remember that if you have any questions, please ask me, okay? All right, we have participle adjectives, participial adjectives, ED or ING. This is like past and this is present, okay? And this is what we're studying. This is what we studied last class. And I told you this, uh, this sentence, right? My English teacher is boring or my English teacher is bored. This is the cause, all right? That she is not interesting, that she doesn't do exercises. She doesn't, I don't know, teach well maybe. So you're like, oh my goodness. But if you say my English teacher is bored, this is how she or he feels, all right? That he or she feels bored this morning, maybe because something happened to her or something happened to him. So this is the feeling here, and this is the reason, okay? So here we have adjective, uh, it says, I'm sorry. It says cause or sources of the feeling. Remember, the ing ending is the cause. The cause or the source of how you feel, all right? Uh, Eli, do you mind reading this, please? <coughs> yes. Cause or source of the feeling. Adjectives ending ing are used to describe things or people. They are the cause of the feeling. The film was dull, dull, dull. Long, dull long, and slow. It even made me sleep. So, so here, the film, 
The it, film was boring. All right, so look at this. It says here, the film was dull. Dull is like, it's, mm, not interested, all right? Not like, kind of like boring, all right? The film was dull, long and slow. It even made me sleep. So, the film was boring, all right? So, the, the film was not good, all right? The cause, the film was not good. So, therefore, the, uh, the film was boring. And if the film is boring, if the film was boring, what is the, the feeling I have? Guys, what is the, feel, the feeling I have if the film was boring? Yeah. All right. Very good. All right. Very nice. Okay. Let's continue here. Here. Uh, someone else to read this for me, please. Can someone else read this one for me? Me. Okay. Ajiti. The save of the feeling. Receiver of the feeling. Yes. Very good. Uh, adjective ending ed are used to describe feelings. Mm -hmm. The feel was too long and slow. It even made me made me sleep. So I was bored. I was bored. Very good. Okay. So here it says the receiver of the feeling. All right. The other one is the cause or the source, all right, the ing. The other one is the receiver of the feeling, so I felt bored, all right? Let's see, let's see some more examples here. I want someone else to read them for me. So what I, for example, if Franklin, if Franklin reads, I want Franklin to read like this, like that, all right? I spill water on my pants, I feel this is, all right? And then someone else. So Franklin, can you read like across, please? Yes, um, I spill water on my pants. Um, uh, uh, I feel I am uh, embarrassed. Embarrassed. I feel embarrassed. or I am embarrassed. I feel. Mm -hmm. uh, I am embarrassed. Uh, it is this or this is embarrassing. Embarrassing. Very good. All right. So this is this is the situation here. All right. This is how I feel. All right. And this is the situation. How you know the situation was embarrassing. All right. So I felt embarrassed. All right. Now you can, you, if you notice, you can say I feel, or you can say I am. All right. Or in, in simple class, you say I felt embarrassed. All right. You tell me, hey, Jessica, you know what happened yesterday? And I say, what happened, Ely? I spilled coffee all over my, my pants. I'm like, oh no. And you say, oh no. And how did you feel? And then Ely says, I felt embarrassed. It was so embarrassing. All right. So the adjectives, Remember that they are adjectives and then you can play with them in different tenses, all right? Right now we're talking about simple present tenses, but uh, it's okay. These ones are the adjectives, okay? So they can be placed in either or uh, different tenses here. Thank you, Franklin. Someone else to read across for me, please? Okay. Um, this unfriendly dog has big teeth. Mm -hmm. I am or I feel Frightened. Frightened. Very good. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, it is or this is frightening. 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 Very good. Thank you. All right. Someone else to read one. This uh, this other one across, please. Okay. I can't understand the instructions. I feel confused. It is confusing. Excellent. Yes. Very good. All right. So I can't understand the instructions. How do I feel? I feel confused. All right. And this is confusing. Okay, so give me a second.
Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Are you guys there? Hola, hola. Yes. Hola. Sí, sí, sí. Sorry, guys. It's a mess this morning. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have some people coming in today to work on my house. So it's like, oh, no. <laughs> it's a crazy Monday. All right. Let's see. Let's continue with this one. We have, I mean, he gave. Someone to read this one for me. Okay, the restaurant I feel convinced. Convinced? I feel convinced. Uh -huh. Convinced? It is convinced. Convincing. Convincing. All right. So here we have he gave good reasons. He, uh, I feel convinced. And then you say this is convincing. All right. So we have the feeling and the cause of it. All right. So you need to remember. Think about that situation and you say, okay, this is the situation. How do I feel? I feel this way. All right. What caused me to feel this way? This. All right. So you can play with that. All right. If you ask those questions, all right, then that makes you, like it gives you the right answer. All right. If you say, okay, how do I feel with this situation? You know, say, I feel embarrassing. No, you feel embarrassed. All right. So you have to um, maybe ask the question for you to be okay with it. All right. These guys are many, many, many of adjectives that are played in both ways, present and past. So you say amazed, amazing, amused, amusing, annoyed, annoying, astonished, astonishing, bored, boring, confused, confusing. Depressed, depressing, disappointed, disappointing, disgusted, disgusting, embarrassed, embarrassing. All right. So you see, you you can say, oh no, I feel depressed. What happened? The movie was depressing. All right. Yeah. So this is the feeling, and this is the cause. Do you understand the meaning of these adjectives, guys? Or are there any that you don't know? Maybe, or the pronunciation or the uh, meaning of them? Mm, teacher. Yes. Uh, I don't remember annoyed you. Annoyed. Annoyed is, for uh, example, when you're like, ah, así como que, that you're like, eh. <laughs> I'm annoyed, like I'm, I'm a little upset, you know, like, eh, I don't know how you say that in Spanish, but I feel annoyed is like, Maybe it's a combination, Carla, of frustrated and upset, and you feel like annoyed, like desesperada also, you know, mm -hmm. cuando hay gente que le dice usted, Ay, he's so annoying, es como, uy, que desesperado. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. <laughs> all right, very good. Okay, any other? Astonished. Ah, this one, astonished. This one, atonish is like, oh, you feel atonish, you're like, oh no, I feel like I have no words to say something, all right, you're atonish, all right, like, oh, in a good sense or in a bad sense, if something is so horrible that you say, oh my goodness, I feel atonish about this, or like maybe I feel, I mean, excited about it, all right, so you have those, um, like, like speechless. Yes, like speechless, is, uh -huh, right, like wordless, very good, you're atonish. Any other guys? The second one. Amused? Yes. All right. Amused is something is very, very like funny. You say, oh, the movie was amusing. It was like hilarious. It was like, you. it was funny. All right. Or it was fun, you know? So you can say amused or amusing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any other? All right, guys, I'm sorry, yes, someone was gonna uh, say something, yeah. Teacher, uh -huh. it's not there, but I I read uh, fight, fighting it, but I don't, um, I don't know the, the pronunciation correctly. This one. Yes. Okay, um, frightened and frightened. frightening. Okay. Frightened, yes, very good. Thanks. And I would thank you. I was gonna say that to you guys. These ones, you need to be very, very careful because of the pronunciation of the ED ending, all right? So make sure that you know the pronunciation, amazed, amused, annoyed, astonished, bored, confused, depressed, disappointed, 
be disgusted, embarrassed, okay? So you have like very different pronunciations here, all right? So you need to know those pronunciations, all right? And then here we have more, all right? I'm gonna send this presentation to you. So you have this list, okay? So here, for example, you say, I'm excited. We use that one, right? We, we use, usually use this word, excited, all right? Remember that excited for us in English is when you're like very, very happy, excited. This is like super, excited, exciting, exhausted, frightened. That's the one, Carlita, all right? Uh, insulted, interested, intrigued, satisfied, shocked, surprised, tempted, terrified, tired, worried all right so these are all their adjectives and these are like also adjectives these are the feelings how you feel about it and this is what caused you to feel this way all right do you understand what i'm saying yeah do you guys have any questions no no questions all okay. right very good all right, I didn't say good morning to Giovanni, neither to Blanquita and to Vanya. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. All right, very good. Good morning. So here, good morning. All right, so here again. Okay, let's do this practice right now here, and then I'm going to send you to practice with your classmates. Let's see. So number one, it says, guys, let's see. Ileana, you're going to do the first one, okay? I had have, I have such a day... I went straight to bed. I had such a tired day or tiring day? A tired day. Tiring. Tiring? Tiring. tiring. How was the day? Yes, yes. Tiring. How did you tiring. feel? Tired? Very good. Tiring. Yeah, thank you. That's okay. Very good. Beatriz, Carla Beatriz, number two. Everyone's very about the news. Excited or exciting? Excited. Excellent. Everyone's uh, very excited. Everyone, mm -hmm. uh, very excited about the news. Yes. So the news is exciting, right? Very good. Let's see. Carla, Joanna, can you do number three, please? Read the whole thing, Carlita, please. I wept when she told me she did go divorce. Mm -hmm. mm. I wept. Uh, amazing. Yes, I was amazed. All right, when she told me she got divorced. All right, I'm like, oh, oh my God. All right, you couldn't believe your eyes, right? Very good. Let's see. Next one. Sophia, okay. number four. Sophia, can you do that one for me? Yes. No one knew what would happen next. We were all intrigued. Yes, we were all intrigued, right? Intrigued. This was very good, all right? Blanca, all right, thank you, Sofia. Blanca, it was? It was a very interesting situation. Excellent, it was a very interesting situation. Very good, Blanca, nice. Exa, can you do the other one, please? There's Ben. I don't know what are we doing because I disconnected. Yeah, you got disconnected. I saw it. Don't worry, uh, Exa. What we're doing is we're reading the sentence and we're deciding which adjective is best you like the better use of it. If you say surprised or surprising according to the to the sentence. I don't know if you want to try or someone else can do it. Okay. Uh, there's been some very surprising news. Surprising news, yes, all right. So I feel surprised, all right, very good. Thank you, AI, exactly. Franklin, his mother. Can you try to do his that mother, one, Franklin? Mm -hmm. Thank you. His mother was, this good uh, be what she found under his bill. All right, that's gross, all right. His mother was disgusted. But what she found under his bed. I don't want to know what she found. You know what disgusted means? Right? No, voy a, no se escucha el, el. Disgusted. 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 Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. It's like id ending. Disgusted. You know what that means? Okay. Do you know the meaning of the adjective, um, guys? And, and all of you? Do you know the meaning of disgusted? Yeah? Yes. All right. Okay. 
Oh, someone said no? Yeah, no, no, it's okay. All right, okay, very good. Okay, let's let's see the other one here. All right, let's see. After Franklin, we have Araceli. All right, Araceli, can you do the first sentence, please? Their hamburgers are disgusting. Excellent. Their hamburgers are disgusting. Very good. Thank you. Senia, now next one, please. <clears throat> That always arise home from work generally mm -hmm. is ex exhausting. All right, how does that feel? Exhausting. Exhausted. All right, that always arrives home from work thoroughly exhausted, like, like. Um, like always exhausted, all right? Like he feels exhausted, like everything, all right? Very good. Giovanni, can you do the next one, please? He's always. Uh, he, he's always is knowing off. Showing off, showing off. Showing off. Mm -hmm. He's really uh, annoying. Excellent, very good, Giovanni. Yes, he's always showing off. It's really annoying. Do you guys understand the expression showing off? No. Okay, showing off, for example, when someone is also always saying, oh, you know what, I have the latest iPhone, I have the best car, I have the best clothes, and they're like always pretending, that is to show off, like luciéndose, all right? Okay. okay. All right, so that's what it means, all right? So that's a no. Like Franklin. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, very good. Let's see. Next one. I, Vanya, can you do I walked? I walked in the restaurant and there was Andy with a strange woman. Mm -hmm. He see, he seemed. Seemed. Uh, he seemed, uh -huh, very good. Really um, embraced. Embarrassed, uh, embarrassed. Embarrassed. Very good. Excellent, embarrassed, very good. All right, that's how he seemed, right? Very nice. Let's see. Um, Juan Carlos, can you do, thank you, um, Vania. Can you do the next one, Juan Carlos? She kept. She kept talking about her birth boyfriend problems all night it was rather embarrassing that's right it was quite embarrassing all right it was rather embarrassing very nice thank you all right Eli, can you do the next one please his he's such a slow speaker i was bored all the time i was bored all the time and who, who wants to do the last one so want to do the last one for me His words were really insulting. That's right, his words were really insulting, so I felt insulted. All right, very good. Okay, do you guys have any questions about this? Any questions about this one, guys? Questions, no questions? Are we okay? Yeah, it's easy, right? <laughs> now that we know how, they, how to form them and everything, and we know what they are now, because as I said to you before, it's like we always say an adjective, interesting. That's an adjective that we always use, right? But now we know that it's an adjective formed by a present participle, all right? So that's like, that's the reason behind it. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna show you the other presentation and I want you to take pictures because I'm gonna send you to your group so you can work on the exercises, okay? So let me just go get them here. Just give me a second. <clears throat> Okay, guys, can you take a picture of these ones, please? Can you see them? Yes. All right. Okay. 
All right, finish taking the picture. Yes, all right, so I'm gonna stop sharing right now. So I'm gonna send you to your groups right now so you can finish the exercise, all right? Then if you finish, if you finish fast, what I want you to do, for example, if I'm working with Carla Joana, what I want her to do and with me is to make, come up with sentences, some with feelings and some with the causes, all right? So I want you to try to make your own sentences after this in case you finish fast. If not, that's okay. Don't worry about it, okay? So I'm going to send you to your groups right now. There you go, guys. Idi. Idi. Number one, John's announcement that he was pregnant was John announcement that he was pregnant. Que es announcement? No announcement. Que significa announcement? Announcement as anuncio. Ah, okay. Was shock, shock, shocking, shock it, shock it with a AD. AD. Mm, but I think it's talking about a situation. Shock it. Uh, three. Mom gave me with a hug and some chocolate, but the hug and chocolate were were for the first. Yes. <coughs> Comfort. Is that a girl's? Is that how you felt or that's the situation? <laughs> Comforting. Mm. 
the situation. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you understand why Senior Seria and Sofia? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I want you to check number one and number two because you're talking about, for example, number one, you're, you're talking about breakfast. Breakfast this morning was not very what? No, it was not very satisfying. Satisfying, right. Satisfying. I'm still hungry, all right? Okay. So that's how, that's the cause for me, like, still not being satisfied. Okay. Okay. Number four. Grammar can be... And the students are often in class. Grammar can be... Annoying? Annoying? And the students are often bored in class. Hi, Banya. Hi, Carlita. Hi, Carlita. Hi, Carlita. Hi, Carlita. Hi, Carlita. Hi, Carlita. Hi, Hi, Carlita. 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 Hi, uh, mm -hmm. So, for example, you ah, uh, pregnant is when you have a baby inside your belly. Embarazada. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a big announcement. Announcement <laughs> that he was pregnant was. <laughs> Teacher, can you explain me? Um, yes. Uh, ¿En qué momento voy a utilizar cada palabra? O sea, no sé cómo preguntarle eso. Pero... Cada adjetivo. Ajá, ajá. A ver, um, do you want me to do it in Spanish or in English? <laughs> do you want me to do it in Spanish? Sí, por favor. <laughs> no problem. All right. Ok, Vania. Tenemos dos, dos tipos de eh, participios. Los pasados ajá. participios y los presentes participios. Sé que está en presente porque en presente participio porque el, el adjetivo va a terminar con ing. Right? Y voy a saber que es pasado participio porque el adjetivo termina con ed. ¿Ok? Ahora, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre el presente y el pasado? Los adjetivos en presente participio, o sea, los que terminan con ing, son la causa de mi sentimiento, por ejemplo. Entonces yo le digo en inglés. Uh, the book is interesting. ¿Cómo estuvo el libro? Interesante. All right. Interesante. Uh -huh. Interesting. ¿Cómo me siento yo? Interesada. Interested. ED. Entonces, el, los, uh -huh. los adjetivos con ING me dan la razón o la causa de cómo me siento. Y uh -huh. cómo me siento, o sea, el sentimiento, ¿verdad? Entonces, esos son el pasado participio. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces si yo le digo, ay no, eh, la, el, eh, la clase está confusa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces yo digo, lo que pasa es que en español no todo termina con mente, no decimos confusamente, uh -huh. <risa> ¿verdad? Pero en inglés, en inglés we say, the class is confusing, ¿verdad? Right? La clase está confusa, uh -huh. confusa para nosotros en español. ¿Cómo me siento yo si la clase uh -huh. está confusa? Confundida. Confundida. Me siento uh -huh. confused. Very good, Carlita. All right. Uh -huh. Entonces, la razón del cómo me siento es con ING. El cómo me siento uh -huh. es con ED. All right. Por eso uh -huh. yo les decía el, el viernes, creo que usted no había entrado todavía, Vania. Eh, uh -huh. Por lo general, hacemos el error de decir, por ejemplo, ¿cómo se siente? O, ¿Cómo estás ahora? Y usted, la gente dice, I am boring. Para decir, estoy aburrida. Pero lo que me está diciendo con I am boring es, yo soy aburrida. No, yo estoy aburrida. ¿Sí? Entonces, para decir, yo me siento aburrida, es I am I bored. O oh, I uh, feel. O oh, ya sea I am o I feel. Bored. Uh -huh. Con ED. Si con usted dice, uh -huh. I am boring, entonces me siento eh, con ING. Entonces, yo soy aburrida. No es que uh -huh. me sienta aburrida, es que todos se aburren conmigo. 
Ok, entonces, y ese es un Ajá. ejemplo bien, bien, que lo hacemos mucho, nos confundimos mucho y te decimos, okay. How are you today? Y usted dice, I'm, I'm boring. Así de, ¿en serio? Ajá. Pero yo me divierto con usted. Ajá. All right, Ajá. so you need to be careful with that. All right, entonces, Ajá. por eso es importante saber todo detrás de esto, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué Ajá. son? ¿Por qué tenemos que usar bored y no boring? ¿Por qué interested y no interesting? Porque el interesting con ING es la causa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y uh -huh. el otro con ED es el, la sensación o el uh -huh. sentimiento con lo que usted deal with, con lo que usted está siempre, ¿no? Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. y esos son adjetivos, igual que beautiful, fat, ugly, todos esos son los mismos adjetivos, solo que se derivan por lo general de un verbo. Uh -huh. All right. Entonces, ahí vamos con eso. Ok, perfecto. No sé si ya le quedó un poquito más claro. Ya, yeah, sí, hoy sí. All right, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. Teacher, Thank in you, this teacher. case, the John endowment that was printed was sería uh, fascinated. Ser fascinated, sí, así como, ay, qué chivo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. O was shocking, si no estaban oh, esperando que okay. vea. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Así como, ah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, no. Wow. Right, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 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 Eh, mom gave me with a hole and some hot chocolate. Mm. But the hole mm -hmm. and hot chocolate were eh, fascinated. El abrazo y el chocolate mm. caliente son. Ajá. Ajá. Fascinated. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero, o oh, fascinating. Mom. Mom gave me with a hug and some hot chocolate. Ajá. Uh -huh. But mi mamá me dio un abrazo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y algo, algo de, de chocolate, chocolate caliente. caliente. Ajá. Ambos, el abrazo y el chocolate caliente son confort, confort, comforting. Comforting. Ajá, comforting. That's right, girls. Very good. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, they were comforting. Yes. All right. Entonces, <laughs> si, después yo le preguntara, so how did you feel? Usted me dice, I felt comforted. Esa situación del abrazo de su mamá con el ataque de chocolate caliente que fueron confortantemente, que no, no, no sé en español, <risa> pero que la, la hicieron sentir. Ajá, en inglés en español es muy diferente. Sí. Ajá. Ok. 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 Grammar can be And okay. students are often in class. The grammar can, can be... Grammar can be... Interesting. interesting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And a and student a, are often... often Puede ser el mismo. El mismo solo que es interested. interested. Uh -huh. interested. Uh -huh. in, in class. class. Very good. Okay. Nice. Super. Very okay. good. All right, girls, I'm going to check another group, okay, in case they need help, all right? Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, teacher. The rest. Barbaro. No, Hi, no, no, no. Franklin. Hi, Carlita. ¿Cómo va? Morning, teacher. Hi, um, good morning. Uh, we finished. You finished everything? Yes. Cool. That was very fast. Can we Thanks. check them? <laughs> uh, class. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to share them with you here. Oh, okay, Carlita, that's okay. Me. No, that's fine. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. Uh, at number one, hmm? Frank, you start. Uh, okay. 
uh, breakfast this morning was not very uh, satisfied. That's right. I am still hungry. Hungry, oh no. <laughs> hungry. Yes. Number two, John's announcement, announcement that he was pregnant. <laughs> pregnant? <laughs> was shocked. <laughs> ah, but what was, what, it was the situation or the feeling, Carla and Franklin? Um, Are we talking about the situation or the, uh -huh? Shocking. Excellent. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Shocking. Um, oh. Frank? Okay. Frank. Fast, fast. <laughs> yes. Uh, mom, give, uh, mom, give my gift. Gabe. Uh, Gabe, gave Gabe. me a hug. Uh -huh. uh, gave me with a hug and some hot chocolate. Uh, both the hug and hot chocolate were uh, fascinating. Fascinating. Mm, are you sure? Is the um, situation or the feeling, guys? Any situation. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fascinating. Okay, sure. All right. Or you um, can say comforting, right? Because when you feel sad and your mom gives you a hug and she gives you hot chocolate, mm -hmm. te sientes reconfortada, right? Es reconfortante. Okay. okay. Maybe okay. that one. Mm -hmm. Comforting. Comfort. Comforting. Excellent. Yeah, that sounds better. Right. Very good. Number four. Grammar can be boring. And the students <laughs> Thank <you>. are of <laughs> boring <laughs> class. <laughs> but what maybe happened, can Carlita? be. <laughs> Teacher, not for me. No. If, <laughs> It's in other kind of classes. Okay, okay, very good, Carly. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. But can be, can can be fascinating for sure. me. <laughs> it can be. No, it's okay. I mean, it makes sense. As long as it makes sense, it's okay. It can be boring. It can be fascinating. It can be interesting. It can be annoying for some people. They like the best and grammar, right? So they are. I know that's so annoying, right? So it depends. That's okay. <laughs> All right, frankly, next one, number five. See number five, the ra the raining water is so um, depressing. Yes, <laughs> depressing that is making us feel depressed. Depressed, depressed, depressed. depressed. very good. Depressed. depressed. Okay, very good. Next, the sound of a vacuum cleaner. Uh -huh, una aspiradora, a vacuum cleaner. Yes. Uh -huh. Has a um, well has a calming effect uh, on crying babies. Babies, oh, Ooh, uh -huh. interesting, <laughs> all right. Yes, like cars. Uh -huh. True, yeah, that's uh -huh. true. That's like a lullaby yeah. for them. <laughs> all right, next uh, one. Number seven, mm -hmm. a lot of people are uh, 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 interested, interesting. Interested. Uh, in, tra in, in traveling to other countries. Okay, so a lot of people are interested. Very good, yeah, interested, interested. all right? Very good, nice. Mm -hmm. mm, we are comfortable in going to Europe this summer. Mm, the meaning maybe. Uh, the meaning. Yeah, when we are comforted in going to Europe, uh, the meaning of, the, I mean, the adjective, in that sentence, it's not, mm, doesn't Can make be fascinated. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, fascinated. Uh -huh. We're fascinated in going to Europe this summer. All right, yeah. All right. Yes, because of the meaning. Uh -huh. Yeah, very good. Okay. 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 Yes, uh, we, uh, this is a interesting book. Yeah. I, ha I have never read anything so interesting. I have, this is an interesting book. I have never read anything so interesting. Both are interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. And the last and one? Tara's neighbor, neighbor? neighbor has an <laughs> annoying little <laughs> dog that barks a lot. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they can be very annoying. All right. Very good. Yay. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Okay. So remember, Carlita and Franklin, the ing are adjectives, all right? They are the cause. And the ed adjectives, they are the feeling, 
All right, okay. of okay. that cost. Very good. We're gonna go back right now, and then we're gonna check them to see how the rest of your classmates did. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thanks, Thank teacher. You. Bye, Frank. Hi. All right, guys, were you able to finish? Hi. Hi. Hello, were you able to finish? Hi. Yes. Hello, hello. Yes. All right, let's check them then. <laughs> Someone feels tired this morning. All right, very good. Breakfast this morning was not very what, guys? Satisfying. Excellent. Breakfast this morning was not very satisfying. I'm still hungry, all right? So, oh no, I need to eat more. Very good. Number two, John's announcement that he was pregnant was? Shocking. Shocking. All right. Number, number, number three, mom gave me a hug and some hot chocolate. Both the hug and the hot chocolate. Where? Home for it. Home for it. Home for it. The, both hot chocolate, the hug and hot chocolate were comforting. I-N-G. All right, very good. How do I feel with that? I feel comforted. All right, very good. Number four, grammar can be, uh -huh. how can grammar can be, guys? Boring. Boring. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> no me trauming. All right. It's interesting. Fascinating. <laughs> Thank you. Fascinating. <laughs> okay, that's okay. All right, yeah, it, as long as it makes sense, it's okay. So grammar can be interesting, boring, I mean, annoying, whatever you feel. And uh, students are often bored. 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 All right. bored. <laughs> bored in class. Not you, right? <laughs> Number five. Uh, no, no. Uh, other class. Other uh, class, right? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the rainy weather is so depressing. Yes. Depressing. All right. And it makes that is um that is making oh. us feel how. Depressed. Depressed. Very good. Nice. All right. The sound of a vacuum cleaner has a what? Annoying. All right. I guess it would depend. Some people were saying comforting effect on crying babies because they, they feel like the sound is like cars. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's see. A lot of people, number seven, a lot of people are. Are oh, what? Yeah. Interesting. Interested, interested in traveling to other countries because traveling is interesting. All right, very good. Number uh, 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 number eight, we are interested. 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 Also, we're interested in going to Europe this summer or fascinated also, it can be. All right, this is a fascinating book. Yes, I have never read anything so. Fascinated. Fascinating. Both are fascinating. Fascinating, fascinating. All right. This is a, in, a fascinating book uh, or interesting if you want to. I have never read anything so interesting or fascinating. You know, say this, I uh, read anything so interesting. All right. So it's both are ING. And the last one, Tara's neighbor has a Annoying. Annoying. An annoying little dog that barks a lot. So that makes me feel annoyed. All right, because he's always barking and barking and barking. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to stop this exercise right here. I'm going to start taking attendance. I don't know if you have any questions with this. Tomorrow we can review a little bit. I was explaining it to Vanya and Carlita again. All right. So please feel free to ask as many times in case you don't have it clear. The idea is for you to feel comfortable with this topic. All right. Very good. Carla Beatriz Aguilar. Present. Thank you. Veronica Beatriz Celso. Osmani Xaú de León. Present. Very good. Vania Itzel Deras de Cañas. I'm here. Blanca Estela Marroquín. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Thank you. All right. Carla Joana Martínez. Present. Thank you. Giovanni Alberto Orantes estaba, ¿verdad? All right, Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramirez, Dalila Estela Silva Morán, Maria Araceli Gonzalez Flores. Present. Thank you. Tini Elizabeth Mejia. Present. Thank you. Uh, Sofia Guadalupe Hernandez. Present. 
Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Claudia Ileana Casun. Present. Very good. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Karen Lisset Reyes. All right. And Francisco Isaac Cabrera Mestizo. All right, guys. So I'm going to let you go. All right. Have a great day. I hope you really have a very, very nice week today. And I hope it doesn't rain so much. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right. The same time. Thank you so much. Bye, Thank guys. You. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 B